this is Captain Chaudhary. Today I am going to speak about uh, one of the additional criteria to be satisfied by the passenger vessels. This criteria is when the passenger ship takes a sharp turn, the angle of heel should not exceed 10 degrees. So uh, what is to be checked so that we uh, know that the passenger ship satisfies this particular criteria, we are going to study that. First of all, let us uh, uh, look at the ship from stern. This is the view from stern and uh, here is a passenger ship which is uh, going to take a sharp turn to starboard, right? Okay, so uh, let's say this is the water level and let's say this is the center of gravity. We have studied in uh, high school or colleges that there is this uh, acceleration which acts towards the center and radially away from the center. There is centripetal and centrifugal acceleration. Suppose uh, we are swirling a stone which is tied up at the end of a string. As the stone performs uniform circular motion, if the string snaps, what will happen is the stone will run away in a direction radially outward and the string uh, recoils inside towards the center. So uh, let's say uh, the center of gravity over here, this is the mast uh, of the ship and ship takes a sharp turn to starboard. Now from the center of gravity, a centrifugal force would be acting which will try to throw the ship away from the center radially outwards but the ship won't go because there is an objection, there is an opposition by the water body this water body will not allow the ship to be thrown radially outwards. What happens is, suppose we say that there is this point center of buoyancy. Uh, effectively at center of buoyancy, the thrust due to water would act. And this particular lever is the one which causes the healing of the ship. Now, uh, this healing of the ship, which is uh, as a result of taking a sharp turn, we are going to study uh, about that mv square upon r is centrifugal force mv square upon r is centrifugal force m is mass in tons v is a speed of the ship linear speed of the ship in meter per second and r is the radius of the ship r is the radius of turn in meters now uh, there is this lever and there is this force so let us see what happens to the healing moment. Healing moment is mv square upon r into gb. In place of m, I can write displacement upon g v square upon r into gb. This is because mass is represented in tons but mass multiplied by 9.81 would give me force in kilonewton. That is the relationship between the force and the mass. Okay, so in place of mass, I can write the force divided by acceleration due to gravity. This is the healing moment. Now, as we know, as the ship heals on one side, as the, he as the ship heals on one side, what happens is because of the shift of wedges, the center of buoyancy of the ship also moves in parallel direction and if there is center of gravity over here, the writing lever GZ is created causing the writing moment. So uh, writing moment can be considered as GZ into displacement. So writing moment is equal to GZ into displacement. But GZ for small angles of heel can be written as GM sin theta into delta. So uh, this is the writing moment. Now what happens is when the ship is healed onto one side because of taking the sharp turn, the healing moment becomes equal to writing moment at a certain angle called theta and that theta is the angle of equilibrium. Now what happens is when the equilibrium is attained, the vertical distance between G and B is not GB. Vertical distance between the G and B 
is GB cos theta, right? Because if you say uh, this distance GB is causing the uh, healing moment, actually it is not this distance, it is this distance which is from here to here. The vertical, the actual vertical difference, the actual vertical distance between G and B is actually GB cos theta. So may I change this to GB cos theta. Now let me equate the two. When I equate the two, it is uh, GM sin theta into displacement equal to GB cos theta into displacement upon G into V square upon R. Displacement, displacement will get cancelled. So if I want the angle theta, what I do is I write tan theta here because cos theta would come on the left hand side. Tan theta would be equal to V square upon G R G M V square upon G R G M into G V. So tan theta equal to V square upon G R G M into G V is the formula we are going to use. Now this formula sometimes is used in slightly different way. One of the ways is instead of G B what you write is kg minus draft upon 2. So gb can be written as kg minus draft by 2 without losing much on accuracy. So that is one format we will get and in another format what we can do is instead of g being 9.81 we can consider g to be 10 and r to be approximately 5 times the ship's length. So what uh, we will get is v square upon so what we get is v square upon 50 times L into gm and this can be written as 0.02 v square upon L gm. So these are the various uh, uh, formats in which we can use the formula. We will uh, right now use these various forms to find out whether the vessel satisfies uh, additional criteria, one of the additional criteria for passenger ships. So the short numerical uh, which may be given is the ship speed instead of writing say 20 knots let me write something like 10 meter per second we must convert the velocity uh, which is given in knots in meter per second. So what you do you multiply it by 1852.3 the nautical speed and divide by 3600 so you will get a meter per second. So suppose V is 10 meter per second and kg is 7.5 meters and kb is equal to 5 meters. We know acceleration due to gravity is 9.81. Suppose the radius of turn is uh, 220 meters and uh, km of the ship is uh, say 8.8 meters and let's say this is kg fluid so what we get is the gm we have the radius uh, let us find out what is the list coming as so it would be 10 square divided by 9.81 into radius radius is 220 and gm is km minus kg so 1.3 meters multiplied by gb gb is kg minus kb so 2.5 meters so that is tan theta theta is equal to 5.09 degrees now uh, let's take uh, another format in which the question might be given uh, you are given the ship speed to be 18 knots and then uh, you are given a draft of the ship 8.6 meters kg of the ship is 9 meters so this is how uh, you have the km given so this is how you are given the ship speed you are given the draft you are given the kg now uh, sometimes they will give technical diameter 
tactical diameter as 400 meters. So uh, you would assume that the radius of turn is half of the tactical diameter. Now the only thing that uh, you want to know is the GM. So GM fluid of the vessel is equal to 1.1 meter. Let us see whether this ship satisfies the relevant criteria. So tan theta would be equal to, let me convert the nautical speed 18 into 1852.3 equal to divide by 3600. That gives me 9.26. 18 knots is 9.26 meters per second. So tan theta is equal to uh, 9.26 whole square multiplied by 9.81 into radius is 200 into gm is 1.1 1.1 multiplied by 9 that is kg minus drop by 2 that is 4.3 so that makes uh, this gives me 10.58 degrees theta is equal to 10.58 degrees so the criteria is not satisfied because the speed uh, that you are going at 18 knots and the GM that you have 1.1 does not allow you to have a list which will satisfy a heel which will satisfy the relevant criteria list is going the heel is going the heel is going more than 10 degrees so the criteria is not satisfied let us uh, uh, look at one more format in which the question might be given. Now the data that is given is the speed is 20 knots and uh, maybe you are given kg and you are also given kb. Kg is given as 7.5 meters and kb is given as 4.8 meters. Now instead of uh, the radius of churn, you are given the length of the vessel. Length of the vessel is say 136 meters. We have kg and uh, say uh, gm is equal to 1.2 meters. We lift, which we satisfy the relevant criteria. So we will place the values tan theta 20 knots 20 gives me 10.29 so I will use this format so tan theta is equal to 0 0.02 into 10.29 whole square divided by length 136 into gm that is 1.2 multiplied by gb that is kg minus kb so kg is 7.5 kb is 4.8 so it becomes 2.7. Let's look at uh, the situation now. So this gives the list only as 2 degrees. So the criteria satisfied. So this is how uh, in various situations with various data. So you can find out whether the passenger ship will satisfy this particular criteria whereby the heel should not increase more than 10 degrees when a sharp turn is taken.